It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax. So we'll sing, chat, and laugh all on the Curious Giraffe Show. Welcome back, everybody. You have such great energy today. And I've asked Olivia if she will help Jeanette Giraffe find out who's who on the Curious Crew today. What's your name? Claire. Hi, Claire. Claire. What's your name? Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. What's your name? Julia. Hi, Hi Julia. Julia. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Olivia. Hi, Hi Olivia. Olivia. And I would like you all to meet my friend Fran Friedman. So let's say hi, Fran. Hi, hi Fran. Hi. And who am I? Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah, hi. I'm so glad you all could be here. Now, the giraffes have been talking to me during the week, and they have a new question for us. But we're, all, we're going to start with our verse about the zebra. Okay, so you can pretend that she's looking over at zebra wondering. Let's start. Go ahead. Let's see. Giraffe looked over at zebra and said, Why do I have spots? Why do you have stripes? Zebra just shrugged and said, We come in all types, but we all share one big sky. Oh yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. Giraffe looked over at his mother and said, Why do I go to bed at a certain time each night? His mother said, Good rest helps you grow up right underneath this one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. That was wonderful singing. And they wanted to ask that because Different people have different feelings about bedtime. So, first of all, I'm just curious how you feel about bedtime. How many of you say, yippee, 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 I'm glad it's bedtime? Do you feel that way, Donna? Yeah. And why do you feel that way? What's so good about bedtime? Because I don't have to sleep on the floor. No, where do you get to sleep? In my own room. Yeah, so you get a nice quiet place to sleep. And Julia, you said you like it. What? Because I have to do many things in the day and I have to do extra things after school. So it's really, um, it's really tiring. So I like to go to bed and get a nice rest. It feels nice. good to settle down. Great. And some of you, how many of you say, I'd rather not go to bed? Me. <laughs> okay. So, Claire, uh, tell us about how you feel about bedtime. I don't want to go to sleep because I'm worried I'll never get to sleep. Well, you get anxious whether you'll get to sleep or not. Okay, how about Emily? Um, I don't like going to bed mm -hmm. because I get less time to play with Lauren and Sophie. Oh, how nice. nice. You like to play with your sisters. Yes. Lauren, and how do you feel about bedtime? Do you want to tell us or not? Not right now. Okay, that's fine. And Olivia, do you want to tell us? I just can never get to sleep and I stay up way too late and I'm always just so tired. Okay. And I just don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I like to play. It's hard. Okay, it's so, so we've got a couple songs about those different kinds of feelings. So the first song was about a friend of mine whose child had a hard time going to sleep. And the reason for her it's not that she had so much energy, but that when she got in a quiet space, all settled down for the day, she would start worrying. And it was hard for her to sleep because she worried so much. 
So my friend called me and she said, Dorothy, would you please write a song that could help Aria feel safely, safer at night so she could just close her eyes and let go and know that everything would be okay. And so I wrote this song. So I thought we all could sing it and you can be singing to Aria or to yourself or to someone you know who might need a little reassurance that when they close their eyes, everything will be okay. All right. Aria, 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 Aria song of the universe and child of my heart. Aria, 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 Aria. You are a child of light, that's who you are. You may feel the darkness surrounds you at night, but you are a child who is filled with great light. In this picture, the All your dark fears will be outshined away. Aria, 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 Son of the universe and child of my heart. Aria, 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 Aria. You are a child of light. And angels will gladly take care of the rest. Aria, 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 Aria. Child of the universe and child of my heart. Aria, 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 Aria. You are a child of my believe that, that each and every one of us inside of us, even when the lights are turned down dark, that we have our own little light and we can close our eyes and picture that if it helps us. So, but other people have trouble settling down because they still have energy left over. So how many of you sometimes dance before bedtime? Do you, Donate? Sometimes. Do you sometimes, Emily? Yeah, go ahead, Donate. Um, sometimes I just jump on my bed a lot. Oh, <laughs> to get it out. Yeah. Well, today I'm going to invite you to stand up right here, and we're going to do the pajama dance. And as our friends in the audience know, I invited you to wear pajamas today, those who wanted to. So stand up, please, in your pajamas. Hold on to some of your toys. We're going to sing about dancing with our toys. Okay. Pajama dance. Pajama dance, jumping around in our PJ pants. Mommies are tired and daddies want to sleep, but we're not ready to count those sheep. So we'll dance around, trying not to make noise. Dance around with some of our toys. Teddy bears love to dance with us, but when they start to stomp, it stirs up a fuss. Oh no! Pajama dance, pajama dance, jumping around in our PJ pants. Grandpas are tired and grandpas want to sleep, but we're not ready to count those sheep. So we'll dance around with some of our toys. Dance around, not making any uh, whoa, whoa. Our trains are happy to dance with us, but when they toot their whistle, toot, toot, it stirs up a fuss. Oh no! Pajama dance, pajama dance, dancing around in our PJ pants. 
sister's tired and she wants to sleep, but we're not ready to count those sheep. So we'll dance around with some of our toys. Dance around, trying not to make noise. The folks are want to dance with us, but when they fall down, it stirs up a fuss. Oh no! Pajama dance, pajama dance, dancing around in our PJ pants. Brother's tired and he wants to sleep, but we're not ready to count those sheep. And as we dance, we're kind of slowing down. Feels like we danced all over the town. Our stuffed lions have stopped their roaring. It's dark outside, and someone's snoring. Pajama dance, pajama dance, curling up in bed in our PJ pants. Everyone's tired and they all want to sleep. Maybe now we're ready to count those sheep. to sleep. Oh, they're very tired. Nighty night. Oh, yes. Now I forgot to ask you something. Have any of you ever counted sheep to get to sleep? Yes, and why do you do that, Emily? Because I can never get to sleep. And how does it help? It slows me down a little bit. Okay, so that's why sometimes people count sheep. And I just wanted to share, this was a very special book that I dropped. When I was your age, or even younger, my mother used to read to me from this book. And I wanted to bring it out and show it to you. Okay. So now, before bedtime, we have Fran here who's going to tell us a story. And she has a surprise for you in the mystery box. I'm going to help because you've got your hands full. Yes. Well, I have a question. Am I wearing sneakers? No. 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 I was trying to wear my sneakers, and I put my sneakers right by my bed when I went to sleep. But do you know what happened? What? In the morning, I woke up. My sneakers weren't there. Uh-oh. And it happened five nights in a row couldn't find my sneakers. So the sixth night, I figured I have to find out where my sneakers went when I went to bed. So sixth night, I got ready for bed, put on my jammies, took my sneakers off. They were a little small, but they, <laughs> they, they're very comfortable. And so I put my sneakers right by my bed. Should we put them right by okay. my bed? And while she tells her story, if you quietly would like to take your sneakers and put them right next to you. Right by your bed. You can. Okay. But you can go ahead while they're doing that. Tell okay, us your story. Very good. So, as usual, I put my head on the pillow. Normally, I close my eyes. The next thing I know, it's morning. But this time, I wanted to find out where my sneakers went. So I put my head on the pillow. Can you put your head on your pillow? Very good. Oh, and I pretended to go to sleep. And then do you know what happened? It was 10 o'clock. I lied in bed. Okay. I s will tell you what happened to my sneakers. <coughs> I can't figure it out. I can never find my sneakers in the morning. They never wear I put them when I went to bed. This is the question that runs through my head. If you want to help your sneakers, go ahead. Oh, where do my sneakers go at night? Where do they go? Where do they go? Tend to be asleep in the corner of my eyes. See my 
past me, creeps creeping right past me. I watch them tiptoe at my door. I follow them to see. I find them running down the hall. Oh, so quietly, quietly, quietly. They never stop to hit the lights outside. They yell, "We're free!" We're free. Except in fills the air this night. I'm gonna look and see. Oh, where do my sneakers go at night? Where do they go? Where do they go? Oh, where do my sneakers go at night? When I turn out the lights, oh, here's where they went. At the playground they go while there's laughter and such fun. Souls of flopping laces, flying games for everyone. Some climb over monkey bars, all boogie on down the court. Some play hopscotch, some jump rope, some are building forts. The evening goes so quickly by. One of them yells, It's late! Uh -oh. It's helter skelter all directions. There's no time to waste. Oh, where, where do my sneakers go at night? Where do they go? Where do they go? Oh, where do my sneakers go at night? When I Straight away, one even blows a flat. They flash by to a puddle of mud, no time to take a bath. My sneakers rush into my house, they don't see me behind. Now I know the answer to the question on my mind. Oh, where do my sneakers go at night? Where do they go? Where do they go? Oh, where Seekers go at night when I turn out the lights. Awesome. So where did my sneakers go? To the playground. Exactly to the playground. They wanted to have fun sure. before they went to bed. Okay. So now, Nighty put your sneakers, sneakers to bed again. Tuck them in. Do you like to be tucked in? Mm -hmm. I love to be tucked in. Well, to my teeth, well, I brush my teeth and wash my face, and I put my clothes away, and I tidy up my room a bit, just finish up my day, and maybe I'll turn down the lights real low, and wait for the person that I love so. Talk To my chin, tuck me in, tuck me in, tuck me in. If you want me to sleep, then please, please tuck me in. If you don't come right away to me, I'll just lie back here and sigh. Cause I know if I wait patiently, you will soon be passing by. And I will just turn down the lights. Wait for the person that I love so. Tuck me in, tuck me in, tuck me in. I love how you bring those colors up to my chin. Tuck me in, tuck me in, tuck me in. If you want me to sleep, then please, please. We're going to have a good night's rest. I like being tucked in. Okay, well, we don't have a whole night to sleep. So let's just imagine the earth turned around from darkness and the sun is coming up and the morning winds are blowing and as you start to wake up, you can start to stretch, and when you're awake enough, you can join me in the morning song. Morning winds are singing, singing to the trees. Morning winds are singing, singing to the trees. Wake up, wake up, feel the 
fresh new breeze to the sun. Morning winds are singing, singing to the sun. Wake up, wake up, a new day has begun. To the birds, morning winds are singing, singing to the birds. Wake up, wake up. Let your voice be heard to the land. Morning winds are singing, singing to the land. Wake up, wake up, help the day be grand. To each boy, to each girl and boy. Morning winds are singing to each girl and boy. Show the earth your joy to each boy and girl. Morning winds are singing to each boy and girl. Wake up, wake up, say hi to the world. Beautiful singing in the morning. Very nice. So, is there anything else before I turn to the next song? Is there anything else you'd like to share about what bedtime is like at your house, what you do? She mentioned brush, washing your face and brushing teeth. Are there any bedtime routines that you like to do? Claire. My dad or my mom reads me a book. Great. That's nice. a story. Yes, Donay? Taking a shower. You like to take a shower at the end of the day. That helps. Yes. Lauren. My daddy reads me a book and sings a song. Oh, how wonderful. A story and songs. Wow. Olivia. My parents say me a song, tuck me in, and sometimes read me a book. That's great. Anybody else? Yes, Julia. I read myself a book, and I also, um, I also do all the, my bedtime routine, and I do my homework. Uh huh. Yes. so you can go to bed knowing it's done. Right? And yes, Olivia? And I usually can read my own book. You so. could do either. You can enjoy both. Yes. Emily, do you want to say anything else? Um, I do the same as Lauren. Yes. And I heard a couple of, of you mentioned that sometimes you get songs at bedtime. And that's a surprise to me, but a wonderful surprise. That's a nice idea. I'd like to share with you what I do to get ready for bed. After I brush my teeth, that helps me. Somehow that body, that just doing that signals to me, okay, it's the end of my day. Mm -hmm. And then I like to read and read yeah. and read and read until my eyes just can't stay open anymore. And then off come my glasses, <laughs> off goes the light, and I am asleep in no time. Do you get tucked in? Do I get tucked in? I tuck myself in Good now, idea. but I do love, when I have my grandchildren visit, I love tucking them in. And each of you, I'm glad you have somebody to tuck you in. That's great. Okay, well, we have one more song that Raffi wrote. You might have heard it somewhere before. All I really need is a song in my heart, food in my belly, and love in my family. Okay. All I really need is a song in my heart, food in my belly, and love in my family. Oh, all I really need is a song in my heart, love in my family, and I need the rain to fall. And I need the sun to shine To give life to the seeds we sow To make the food we need to grow All I really need is a song in my heart Food in my belly And love in my family Oh, all I really need is a song in my 
heart Love in my family And I need some clean water for drinking And I need some clean air for breathing So that I can grow up strong Take thy place where I belong All I really need is a song in my heart Food in my belly And love in my family Oh, all I really need is a song in my heart Love in my family and I need a good place to rest When I'm tired, a safe place to nest So that I can close my eyes Wake up fresh for the next sunrise All I really need is a song in my heart Food in my belly and love That is my hope for each and every one of us here and each and every one out there. Safe places to rest, food in their bellies, and love in their families. So thank you for thinking about bedtime with us today. I see Donay rubbing his eyes. You're getting tired. Uh -huh. It's been a long day. And that's why you'll look forward to bedtime maybe tonight. Yeah, okay? Too, so. And you do. Yes. Sometimes, every time... The time I go to bed is 8 o'clock. That's a perfectly excellent bedtime. For, okay, so I yes. I go to bed not. earlier because I have really young siblings. Yes, and but that I'm helps. But I'm glad to read until late. And you're glad to read. I used to put my kids to bed kind of early, but I let them read. I go to you know, bed at 9. And you go to bed at I 9. I go to bed at 7. I have to go to bed at 7.30 tonight. Okay. Because I'm going on an airplane ride tomorrow. Oh, Ooh. my goodness. Where are you going tomorrow? Florida. My goodness. Get a good night's rest tonight. Yeah. Because traveling takes a lot of energy. Have a good time. And you have the same bedtime, Claire, as Emily. And does Lauren go to bed when you go to bed? Yes. Yeah, that helps. Okay, let's stand up and sing our goodbye song. <laughs> and keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.